Hey everyone, I'm coming at you with another collection of empties, yay! I'm a little disappointed that I don't have more makeup to show you, but you've seen the collection I have, so it's gonna be a while before I use anything up. Mostly skincare products, some hair things, but toiletry, I guess, would be the category, so let's just dive in. I do have one makeup thing to show you. Um, I squeezed every last bit of the Match Perfection 2-in-1 Concealer and Highlighter. This is in Fair Light. I have since uh, bought another one and I'm using it, so love, love. I just love it. Um, I'm just going to grab whatever is closest to me. I totally squeezed the last little bit of the Bourjois Healthy Mix, number 52. This lasted me almost a year, I think. I have since bought three backups. I'm on using one, so I have two more backed up. I have heard they've changed the formula, though, so... When I go to Scotland, I will be stocking up on some more. <sighs> this is the Masters Brush Cleaner and Preserver. You can get this at any arts and crafts type store like Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Rachel Wade recommended washing your brushes with this. I have, I'm just about done. I have just a little bit on the sides left, but if you don't have that middle part, it's kind of annoying to clean it, so I may just chuck it. I think this was six, either six or ten dollars. I will, I, I like to get it wet, swirl the brush around, rinse it off, dip it in rubbing alcohol, and, um, and then squeeze it out and it's good to go. The Caudalie Venusource SOS Thirst Quenching Serum, it's done. And I don't know if this is what's making my skin look better than normal, but I'm not gonna mess with whatever's working, so I have also repurchased another one and I'm in the middle of using it. I bought this in January and got a backup in March, but didn't start using it till the end of March, so they last about three months. Kinda pricey, but my skin's working, so I don't wanna mess with it. Uh, speaking of not messing with skin, I finally used up the last of my Murad, what is this even called? It's from the Resurgence line, and it is the Renewing Cleansing Cream. This lasted me like a year. No. Has it been that No. I bought it in September, so September. A long, and now it's almost May, so quite a long time. And um, I think it was $35, but if you think about how long it lasted, it was well worth it. This is one of my favorite um, shaving creams. It's the Aveeno Positively Smooth Shave Gel. I get mine at Walmart. Um, the only thing that, the only reason I didn't repurchase is because I hate that it has a metal bottom and it stains the shower. So I got an EOS one because it's plastic, but really that was the only reason why. But I really do think this works. It's supposed to say it helps you shave less, less. <laughs> I got three hours of sleep. Okay, it helps you shave less often, and I really think it does. I do. I think it does. Okay, um, ooh, you know what? I think there's a little bit left that I can still get out of here. This is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product, and I, I think this is just foam, though, or it's not coming up anymore, but, um, and I thought I could live without it, and I went about a month without owning it, and I realized that no, I cannot, and so I went and I already purchased another one. This stuff is awesome. After I wash my hair, get out of the shower, towel it off, spray this through, and then I come out the knots. And honestly, this is the only product I have in my hair right now. I washed my hair last night, um, went to bed with it soaking wet. It looked a little bit like a... Just back up. Washed it, got out of the shower, did my thing, sprayed all this in, combed it out, went to sleep with wet head. Um, not even towel dry, just soaking wet. And woke up this morning with the crazy show hair, I didn't even spray anything else in it this morning. I just flat ironed it to get the insanity out and shiny, soft, yay, love. Okay, another love, and yes, it has been chewed on, not by me. Um, this is the CND Sticky Anchoring Base Coat. I love this stuff. Um, I don't have it on right now because this is pixie dust and pixie dust doesn't require a base coat, but there's a dog hair on it. Um, I love this for two reasons. One, I tweeted Lisa Eldridge. She tweeted me back and said, use this. Favorited that tweet. Um, but it also really, it works. It, I've tried every base coat under the sun, including the Zoya one. I just feel like, as an aside, I think that 
<clears throat> your body chemistry works differently for everyone and so some people swear by the Zoya Anchor Base Coat. For me, it just didn't work, and which is disappointing because Zoya keeps sending me, you know, every once in a while a bottle or so, but and I keep trying it and going back to it, but for some reason, this stuff is sticky, it works. Get it at Ulta, I just got another one, I'm so happy. Okay, this I finished and was a little sad because it's hard to get. This is the Bioderma that's all I'm gonna say, because the rest of it is in French, and my French is not good. Um, anyway, they don't sell this in the United States. Yes, I know I can get it on eBay and Amazon, but you know what? I don't wanna spend 30 something dollars to get makeup remover. So um, when my friend the pilot goes to France, he picks me up a bottle. I have a whole new bottle, a backup, that I just opened up. Um, I am going to Scotland, and I'm wondering, I think they're gonna start carry, carrying them in boots. So when I'm there, I wonder if there's a weight limit. There is a weight limit on what I can bring back in my suitcase. There will be a few of these in there. Yes, yes there will. Um, okay, we're almost done. This is a question I get asked all the time. I consider it a beauty product because you don't look so beautiful when you have sweaty stained pits. Um, this is the Mitchum Advanced Control Antiperspirant. It says it's 48 hour strength and protection. I have never tested that. We don't wanna know if that is true or not, I guess. If I were, you know, like kidnapped or something and I didn't have access to a shower, then I would know. But um, I've tried everything and I live in a very hot climate and it can get pretty sticky in the summer. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, nothing works like this nothing I love it and um, it smells good and I will put this under my arm and to be perfectly honest and blunt in the real summer time like in the hot hot part I will put it down the middle of my chest and under my breasts and it also helps with chafing with the bra anyway anywhere that I think I'm gonna sweat because there's nothing worse than sitting outside at a child's sporting event and feeling sweat trickle down the middle of your chest it's not sexy okay Speaking of not sexy, <laughs> this is the um, rubbing alcohol I was referring to earlier that I cleaned my brushes with. I got, I don't know why I got the name brand. I usually get the cheap stuff, but I like the 91% because it dries your stuff really fast. Um, I've been using this for years and my brushes have not dried out. Just saying. So, works for me. There should be a matching one with this, but I think Wrigley got to it as he did to this. He will chew on anything. Yet another bottle of the Too Chic Brazilian Keratin and Argan Oil Shampoo, and there was a conditioner that went with it, but it went bye-bye. Um, if you're not using this, are you just stubborn? Are you just doing it? You're just hurting yourself. Get a bottle. And then this is going in the bin because it sucks. That's kind of a harsh word. It stinks. It stinks. Um, like I said, three hours of sleep, I'm a little punchy. I don't know why. My, my eyes just opened up. I went to bed at about 11, and then my eyes opened up at 1.30, just wide awake. So I tried reading, I watched some YouTube videos. We had a cold front come in, the wind was howling. My husband was out of town. I never sleep when, well when he's out of town. Um, the dogs were weird. Anyway, I couldn't sleep. I finally, as it always happens, right? I fell asleep at about 4.30, I'm guessing. And my alarm went off at 5.45. Yeah. So anyway, sorry for the bad language. Just a little. Not myself. This, this is not a good product. So what happened was I ran out of my Mitchum, the good stuff, went to Walmart. They didn't have any. And I don't know. I don't know if there was like a back order on these things or what. But I thought, well, Mitchum, same thing. I'll just get... Smart solid clinical. Clinical sounds like it's even better. Um, because it's maximum strength as opposed to advanced. This is maximum. Here's what I don't like about it. It it's not a powder. It's it's like it's a gel and it's gooey. You feel like you're sliming up your armpits. How does that work? How would that work? How would that make you feel dry? You walk around all day long. I walked around all day long and I felt like I had slime in my pits. I felt like I was sweat. It's like applying sweat. It's like rolling on sweat. Sticky cold sweat. So this was a fail. 
Um, and it's going in the trash. Did you see I said bin? I'm working on my UK slang. Yeah. Anyway, I will see you in the next video, hopefully a little more wide awake, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you like this look, my eyes are sticking together. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Um... Oh, for the love of God. Mm.